Hi, I am Alessandro Zocchi and in this video we are going to talk about the importance of feedback in learning. Well, what is feedback? Uh, technically speaking, feedback is defined as relating to any actions or information provided by someone uh, regarding uh, aspects of one's understanding or learning experience. We can easily imagine a mark given to a student's assessment as the most common feedback given by mm, teachers. Many studies have repeatedly highlighted the importance of the feedback in the learning process. Indeed, the feedback appears to be among the first and most effective factors influencing proper learning. However, experts have seen that some kind of feedback are very helpful, but others are not. Sometimes they can be even counterproductive. What are the most common problems with feedback? Well, uh, we have to consider, first of all, that effective feedback occurs when it is properly received and acted upon by the students. Giving some type of feedback doesn't mean necessarily it will be received properly. Quite often feedbacks are directed to the self. We can make comments like, oh, you are a great student, or well done, or I'm proud of you, or even I don't like what you did here. These comments are uh, more directed to the person, even with the too much teacher-centered perspective. And they move attention away from the task, from the learning processes, and that metacognitive self-regulation that should be encouraged. Our tendency is to praise, and praises can comfort and support, they are welcomed and expected by the students, but they rarely improve learning. And that's because they usually contain little or no task-related information that can easily be converted into understanding, more engagement and commitment to the learning goals. By incorporating the self with other forms of feedback, the information is often diluted, uninformative and provides a little guide to improve performance. Another common problem with feedback regards errors. When students are learning, therefore having complete knowledge and understanding, feedback has the highest impact. Mistakes need to be welcomed. We should develop a classroom climate with low personal risk involved in responding publicly and failing. Too often students only respond when they are sure of the answer. Error training, that is, uh, search and exposure to errors in a safe environment, leads to higher performance. Students should be error searchers, not error avoidant. Such an environment requires uh, high levels of uh, psychological safety that can be achieved with explicit instruction about the positive function of errors. In the next video, we're going to see what are the three questions the most valuable feedback must focus on.